Hey guys. I'm Jerry. I'm Sierra. We're ladies. And we tangent. I'm really digging those pants. I have a shirt that matches. Oh, that would be fun. And it's so comfortable. <laughs> Everyone makes fun of me. Well, they don't make fun of me. <laughs> In my head, it sounds They're like mocking. Fun of me. Yeah. <laughs> that I, I like to have a million blankets on. I'm I like, know. well, <laughs> like all my clothes I like to my be. clothes to be blankets. To double as blankets. That's what today, because I'm so sick, I, uh. I'm just hot. I was like, I yeah. needed the least amount of layers as possible. If I could have came in just my bra and <laughs> maternity pants, I Belly would have. Out. Yeah. Well, I went back and listened to some of the episodes, and like, I'm naked in half of them. <laughs> We're just like, Jerry's got no pants on, or, or I'm just like, belly's out because I feel like I'm busting out of my skin. That's why I'm really nervous yeah. about when I get real big. Yeah, I, I made sure we started the video after I was done being <laughs> pregnant. Just done for you to be pregnant. Because I remember a couple times that I would just be talking to your belly would be peeking out. <laughs> I'm like, I love that. Yeah. Uh, what's up oh, everyone hey. <laughs> oh hey i like to mr rogers them like oh what are you guys doing hey neighbor yeah <laughs> when'd you get here <laughs> yeah hello friend um, <laughs> uh the, guess what guys the rest of the tequila is in here so tequila jerry's back <laughs> we're so excited comfy pants are back um i got nothing <laughs> okay <laughs> how's hey update how's baby baby's doing well um, today she hasn't been I'll moving s- as much. I think she just needs to take a break because okay, she has been enough. kicking the shit out of me. Well, good. Like hardcore. Like, Not good, good. No, I love it. I mean, good. Yeah. But I think she's hanging back towards my bladder today because I've been uh, pissing like a race car. Yeah. <laughs> it's real bad. That by happens. the way, speaking of... Not You're very tan, that. by the way. I was just going to tell you, I did self tan. <laughs> look at my okay. elbow. I was like, you look very tan. <laughs> my pinky. I couldn't tell until you showed me your elbow. I would not have known. Yeah. I thought well, that was. Well, I forgot to wash it off. I'd have believed that was from yard sailing. Yeah. Well, I want people to think, I, I'm not allowed to be, well, I'm not going out and tanning yeah. in the sun, obviously. So I'm like, I'm going to fake bake this shit all summer. Did you match it somewhere? Uh, no. Was I supposed to? Your makeup. Oh. I have a summer shade and I have a winter shade. I'm wearing my summer shade. Okay. Okay. I was going to ask because I yeah. know yeah. you're showing a lot of shoulder oh. for you to be only putting it one place. Oh, I know. I got it on my chest too. I don't know. Mm. Can you tell? But it stops mm. right where my... Oh, uh, no. I can't tell. Cool. Cool. Looks I blended great. it really well. Yeah. It goes great with my fake tan, my yeah. summer shade. Well, I got some weird undertone stuff. You can't, it's hard to match me. I think my undertone is yellow. You know who matches my undertone? Or like, I cannot pick out foundation. I don't usually wear it, but more of a CC cream girl. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who just commented on my Jessica impression, there it is again. Um, the person who picks out my shade the best is Shane. Really? Yeah, he'll pick out a shade and he's like, this one. I'm like, that one? And then I put it on. I'm like, that's my skin. <laughs> He's like, I look at your face a lot. (laughs) I stare at your skin literally all the time. (laughs) Yeah. Corey would never. I'm just, he's really bad at things like that. Yeah. I I didn't know that was a secret talent of his. Like, I think that Corey forgets I have a face sometimes. (laughs) Like, if I ask Corey right now what color my eyes were. (laughs) You don't think he'd know? I don't know what color his eyes are. Oh. I think brown. Mm, Are they? I know. Because one time I said green and he was like, my eyes are fucking brown. And I was like, what? Your kid's going to have brown hair? Eyes, probably? I know. That makes me very upset. Why? <laughs> well, I don't know. I think green eyes are pretty. Do you? Yeah. And my first baby daddy has green eyes. Oh. But my brown eyes dominate. <laughs> <laughs> They're very strong. Yeah. Both my kids, blue eye babes. I don't understand it. Yeah. I was looking at Shane today in his brown eyes, and I was like, man, damn, weak as shit, huh? Honestly, yeah. Like, uh, like... Uh, as somebody who's taken a genetics class, the punnet I know, we've, squares. We've punted at them before. <laughs> it doesn't make we've sense. We've punted them before. <laughs> we punt our kids. Yeah. Because one of four should have blue eyes. Well, I've only had two, so maybe the two other ones that didn't make it did. <laughs> We're going to have brown eyes. Yeah, maybe those ones got brown eyes. I'm That's not sure. That's fair. I'll tell you when we when we meet again. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I think I was thinking about your daughter today, and if she was gonna, I have a feeling she's gonna have red hair. I see people keep. I don't know I why. think she might have our auburn, like real reddish brown. D- is it like mixing paint? Yeah. <laughs> is she gonna get a, <laughs> yeah. like a combo of your hair? Well, that's kind of what happened with Noah. We were like, Dave has dark brown hair. I have black hair, and yeah. Noah's got like a lightish brown. And I'm like, how'd this situation yeah. happen? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Your eyes. 
Those are my eyes. Yeah. Literally. It's your face. It's my whole face. <laughs> it's your whole we face. We went to therapy the other day yeah. and uh we I did I don't wear makeup there and we both wear our masks and yeah. my therapist was like, I have to tell you it's jarring <laughs> because we've been doing it over video, but yeah. we can do it in person now because we're all vaccinated just with masks. Yeah. And um she's like, seeing you guys with masks on, like this much of you yeah. is scary how much you look like <laughs> i'm like thank you he is my child 110 yeah. i've seen videos where they like it's a, w- it's a weird concept but they try to match the kid to the parent yeah and they're like okay whose kid is this and then like someone has to be like okay i guess you're this person's child based on how they look there would be no question no. with you no <laughs> there'd also be no question with me and forrest yep <laughs> they would be like take oh. one look at the both of us and be like that's your kid must be yours yeah, yeah. for sure even Ollie, I think a little bit, but yeah. definitely Forrest. Yeah. That's what I'm wondering. I was like, are my genetics going to come out as strong on this next baby? I don't know. I kind of hope. I don't know. No, Mine I don't came know. out stronger on the second. I know. Which I don't know how yours Mine's could be a stronger. Guy. That's true. <laughs> so it's like the first time all over yeah. again. Aww. It's beautiful. Um, Did you have, you were going to say something? Well, I was <laughs> thinking about baby daddy. <laughs> Oh, you got more? No, I just commented on somebody's because somebody was like, um, things I wanted to ride in the 90s. Oh. And it was pictures of Jack Black. <laughs> and she was like, she was like, um, I don't know why, but this has always been like my whatever, my yeah. weakness. And I was Jack like, Black? Jack Black. Jack Black. And I said, I don't know if this counts, but my first baby daddy looks like him and my second baby daddy acts like him. <laughs> so, like, I think me too. <laughs> I have always been weirded out by Jack Black. I have, I have like a weird thing because funny guys, yeah, funny goofy guys that are like could be really weird if you don't think they're funny. Yes, they're That's the kid. That, they're the kid was like too much in school. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and you were like, I won't. And that I'm like, one. I'm gonna take that one home. Yeah, <laughs> and reproduce with him. <laughs> um, I I have so many things to tell you. I know we haven't talked really this week. Well, so good luck, everybody. I also ha- I had a story from when I was in Massachusetts that I wanted to share with you. Maybe I already shared it with you. If I didn't, if I did, act su- actually, act- oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> act like I haven't. Okay? okay. The second thing is I got diagnosed with ADHD. <gasps> what? Before yeah. me, you bitch. <laughs> was it a race? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Who did it, Barbara? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was in my session and she asked me a question and I was like, funny story. And I went completely away from it. And then I realized how far I had drifted from her question. I went, Barbara, do you think I have ADHD? I've been meaning to ask you. <laughs> and she was like, have I not asked you about that yet? And she goes, I thought maybe I had asked you if you'd been diagnosed before. And I was like, no, I don't think you asked me. And she's like, you want to find out? Let's Here, let me get out. And she got the diagnostic manual out. And then she diagnosed me. Well, I've done the diagnostic manual because I did it for Noah. But then I just, used my, I just answered the yeah. questions also. Well, she was just like, let me update your chart. <laughs> PTSD, panic <laughs> disorder, ADHD. ADHD. I was like... So proud because are you gonna get on medicine? No, I feel well at this point. I think in time, we should do an experiment. I will, oh, okay, <laughs> after I have a baby, and let's just fucking see what happens. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah, let's see. Honestly, I was like, I think the podcast will go down if I do. Well, <laughs> that's I don't think I'll medicate on the days we do the podcast. I think those are gonna be my unmedicated days <laughs> because basically the title of our show is like, We probably have, have ADHD. You, do you know how many people with ADHD have reached out and been like, You I know. guys, this All is the you- greatest pace for my brain <laughs> all of you who have diagnosed us in our dms <laughs> even somebody in a tiktok comment i saved it because it was about suppressing yeah. emotions like i did well let me someone, read this to you someone messaged us the one time we're like hey i think you would be interested or would you be interested in doing an episode about adhd in adults and you had said like hey i think you know, we're undiagnosed, but we think we might have it. And she's yeah. like, yeah, I didn't want to say anything, but I'm pretty sure you do. <laughs> I was like, I've kind of diagnosed you. Yeah. So this was for the TikTok we put up about how I go hide like a dog to cry. Yes. And someone <laughs> said, that's like going through your emotions with a grief plan. It is impressive because, quote, quine. Qu- <laughs> Sorry, I'm reverting back to childhood. 
<laughs> slowly with this child inside me. Um, it's impressive because crying makes your body release stress and anxiety. So you compartmentalize your emotions and probably what happens around you. And that's impressive because it's a, te- a technique used by a lot of neurodivergent people. And they get really, really good at using them. That. Dot, dot, dot. That being said, do you think you have ADHD? <laughs> I was like, yeah, brother, I think I do. <laughs> well, I remember I was telling my mom one time. Mom, I'll start one thing and then I'll get distracted by something else. And then, like, I was trailing off. And she goes, that's just called being a woman. I go, no, no. Mom, that's ADHD. <laughs> no, Mom, I think you have ADHD, yes, too. Because I, I think my mom that. has it. It's genetic, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Which is, like, why I'm 100... My kid got 100% of it because his dad's diagnosed. And I think I'm undiagnosed. So, no. Well, was Barbara like, was telling me it, it manifests differently in adults. She used a word... And in women. Women is different than men. She used a word. It's not... There's ADHD, which is, like, the hyperactive yeah. version of it. But then there's... Um, Another one that starts with an I, I stopped listening. <laughs> because ADHD. <laughs> because ADHD. <laughs> and she's like, you're more that one. And yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Because I kept I, that's feeling... That's why I have to... I'm sorry, I'm no, cutting you off. See, friggin', but I, if I don't say this, I'll forget it. But that's why when I go to doctors and stuff, they're like, how do you learn best? And I was like, you have to physically show me and go with it. Because if you yes. tell me directions, I'm tuning out halfway through. That's what happens to me when I read. Yes. Well, yeah. I have a really hard time... As I've gotten older, that's why I want to get medicated because I'm good if I'm reading a book I'm really interested in. Yeah. Like that's keeping my attention. That's really fast paced. Yeah. But like textbooks for school, I'm having a very hard time because I'll be like reading, reading. And then I'm like, how do you make an omelet? <laughs> See, <laughs> that's why I have to read it out loud yes. or like talk to someone about it. I think Same. Shane gets annoyed because that book that I'm reading every two paragraphs i'm like you're not gonna believe this shit and he's like i I bet i will (laughs) because you just told me about it two seconds ago well that's i'll like give Corey mini lectures like i'm the teacher because that's how i retain it because if i just read it it's fucking gone yes almost immediately yeah but if i say it out loud to him that i'm like oh i do know what i'm reading it's just i'm also thinking about (laughs) off yes well, that's that's what happened when I was telling Barbara that I feel so guilty because Shane will find me random places and he'll be like, hey, if you're going to disappear, can you just like give me a heads up so that I know that I need to like keep an eye on the kids <laughs> and like that you're not going to come back to help with breakfast or something. And I, I get angry because I'm like, what do you mean? I don't realize how long I've been gone. Yes. Because in my head, I'm going to change the laundry. But then I walked down yes. here without the laundry and then I saw the camera and I was like, oh my gosh, the SD card still in there. The podcast is in there. So I'm going to grab that, take it upstairs, grab the laundry and then all of a sudden, I'm editing the podcast, and yes. he's like, "Did you change the laundry?" And I'm like, "No." Oh, that's why I went. Down. I no, literally because just... I found a cup, and then I had to do the dishes. I just did that today. Um, I first of all, I knew that that's an ADHD thing because um, with Noah and chores, I have to break it down into a list, and we have to make every. I can't just say clean your room yes. because that's what he'll do. So I have to give him very small tasks, yep. and I have to put them Specific. in order. And he has to cross them off when he's done. Because if I don't do that, it is so overwhelming to him that he'll just be like, I can't do this. Well, she asked me, she goes, do you have a problem making lists or schedules or or sticking to them? And I said, "Um, making a schedule will throw me into a full-blown panic attack. Same. Because I know all the things that need to happen, but in my mind, they're like floating above my head. And I need to get them down into this funnel, but they're all coming into the funnel at once. And I can't figure out which one needs to go first. (laughs) And so then I'm just like, blow up the funnel. Yes. (laughs) You know what? Actually, fuck this puddle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't do any of it. But do you remember you and Corey came over here so that we could come up with a schedule for the podcast? Uh, we got nothing. <laughs> I had a panic attack and went on a walk yep. with she Forrest left. because because Shane kept getting distracted. I can't stand when people are getting distracted, even though I know that's what I do. Yeah. But I'm like, one of us has to be on task. <laughs> well, he was helping Corey with taxes. He was. And he was like, can you guys like figure out what your tasks are? And I was like, what do you think we are? Yes. The boss of this? <laughs> and no, both of us have undiagnosed ADHD. I'm diagnosed now. So. Well, I'm pissed. <laughs> well, today, Corey was like, hey, Sierra, remember that one time that I asked you to change the track? <laughs> he was like, can you just put a new... 
I can't lift yes. things more than five pounds, so I don't take the trash out. <laughs> yeah. But I do put a new bag in. That's fair. Mm-hmm. So he was like, hey, I'm going to take the trash out. Will you just put a new bag in? I said, sure. But while I, he said that, I noticed the ice cube tray need filled. And then <laughs> as I did that, and then I was like, oh, wait, he's got a friend coming over. I'm going to make sure that there's no poopy on the toilet seat because sometimes yeah. it splatters. I got to get underneath that yeah. bad boy. So I went, checked, wiped down the toilet, gave it a quick whatever. And then I did like two more things. And then I went outside to like hang out with him. And he went back. And he's like, hey, there's no fucking trash bag. <laughs> and I said I forgot. And he's like, yeah. remember, guys, when I said that I would lie about little things? <laughs> <laughs> it's because I have ADHD, I'm and it's pretty embarrassing. sure. And it's embarrassing. So I'll be like, oh, yeah, I was going to, like, I won't say that. I'll just be like, oh, um, what happened was something fucking stupid. And he's like, I know that that's not true. Yeah. So why don't you just tell me what really happened? I'm like, I forgot. <laughs> I had too many things on my list. And that got pushed to the bottom. And then I was just hanging out here. Because all the other ones, they're like pop-ups. It's also, like on you, the internet browser when you... We should do a whole thing on ADHD, really a whole... Yeah. But do you ever Well, have... I was afraid to talk about it because I didn't want to be ableist. I didn't yes. want to... I didn't want to be... Uh, it's the same thing when I didn't feel comfortable talking about anxiety because yes. I'm like, well, I can't talk about anxiety because I don't have it. And then Barbara's like, you have you a panic <laughs> disorder. <laughs> you for sure do. Yeah. That's what my doctor, I gave her just the rundown and she was like, well, I'm pretty sure you have it. Yeah. Uh, but we won't put you on medication because at the time I was trying to get pregnant. Right. So like, I don't know if that counts mm-hmm. as being diagnosed. She's just a uh, like yeah. primary care doctor, but that's who diagnosed Noah. Right. So I'm like, <laughs> 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 Ew, are we? I don't know. <laughs> but I still feel like I can't say it. Yeah. But when people talk to me, like I will listen to our podcast and there will be so many times that I'm like train of thought, train of thought, train of thought, derailed, and then I never come back to it. Yeah. And how I know that that's like I think I have that is because while I'm listening, I don't even give a fuck because I'm already <laughs> yes. like invested in the next thing we're saying. Yes. And I feel like neurotypical people would be like, hey, get back to that point. And I'm just like, I'm on to the next one. <laughs> Where are you going with this one? Yeah. I don't care about the other one I anymore. I love this ride. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think that's what happens. I do that I think too. that's why we have so many ADHD listeners who are like, your podcast is perfect for our speed. Yes. <laughs> because even though you don't finish thoughts, I'm already on the next one with you yeah. guys. And I you like the journey. The, the place you lost yourself, you also <laughs> lost me. So you picked me up where you picked yourself up. And that's all we're trying to do, guys, is pick yeah. you up. That's very exciting. And take you. you on a, the ride of your life. I'm like so excited that you have another thing added to your mental illness checkboard. I'm like, fucking good for you. I, it is exciting. But it's really exciting when you, f- it's validation of like, oh, yeah. I'm not crazy. I'm not making things up. I have a reason that I'm acting like this. Well, you. You said that you lie because it's embarrassing. I do. I get angry, Mm -hmm. which again are two things that can happen when you're embarrassed is you lash out either in anger or you lie. I lie and I'm like, I'm like one time I lied about (laughs) filling the ice cube trays. And I was like, yeah, I fucking did that. Knowing I did it (laughs) because I didn't think you would check. And he checked and I was like, well, I was going to do it. (laughs) That's a hard thing to lie about because either you did or you didn't. Like, you could lie about your time frame because who knows how fast ice turns to water. I told him I did already. And then I forgot. And so he was like, so you did do the ice? And I was like, yes. Because I didn't want to admit that I forgot. But he was like, cool. So he went to go get some ice. And I could hear him opening the freezer. And I was like, this is going to be a fight. Okay, time out. Do you think that ice is like a chicken and the egg situation? Like what came first, water yeah. or ice? Gas, easy. <laughs> well, how did the gas, the gas just was? Jesus. <laughs> was oh, gas. Oh, now you're the religious one? <laughs> no. Um, you know, when it I think about- It came from Jesus' ass. <laughs> and he, that's where the water he came made from. made water droplets. He made wine with his hands and water with his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Much like I do after making wine. <laughs> <laughs> I make or water with my tacos. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, when I drink blackberry wine, not only is it water, but it's like green. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. You ever had blackberry wine? There's Are you really going to hop away from the chicken in the ice? Oh, sorry. <laughs> See, I got really distracted about Jesus' ass. <laughs> um, <laughs> when I try to think about how the world started, I really get a panic <laughs> Okay. So I just try to be like, yeah, we're here. But if you had to guess, okay, if you had to guess chicken or the egg? I think probably guess. <laughs> I 
because it was a cloud that made water. <laughs> the chicken came from the cloud. No, oh, you're talking about actual chicken. I thought you were talking about water. <laughs> Are we talking about chickens today? I want to talk about both of them. Okay. Well, water, I think, started out as a cloud. I think we had a wasteland and then just a fucking cloud. So it was all dry or was there water on Earth? No, it was dry. And then the water came from the clouds. Where did the clouds come from? Because clouds are just precipitation. (laughs) Are they? Yeah, it's like a collection of moisture. Well, I know that. And then it gets heavy and it cries, remember? No. No. Nope. I think it came from the precipitation in the atmosphere. So what happened first? Glaciers or like oceans and lakes and shit? Oh, fuck. That's well, the ice age <laughs> tells us that glaciers came first. But how so did they everything freeze? was frozen? No, no. It had to be liquid first. So liquid and then it froze. I am taking a history class. <laughs> Ask them. I'm going to. I'm going to be like, how did, how did water pour? Sometimes Shane will enter a conversation like that with me and then he immediately regrets it. Yep. Because <laughs> He's like, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> this was so fun. Yeah. Now chickens. <laughs> I think that the chicken came first. Well, what did the chicken come from? Noah's Ark. <laughs> <laughs> it was on the Ark. Yeah. Okay, how did, but did it get on the Ark? Or it was created on the ark. No, it, it walked on. Okay, so where did it come from before that? <laughs> um, Big Bang made a chicken. No, <laughs> the Big Bang. It, everything it probably came and from a chicken a dino- came out. <laughs> it probably evolved from a dinosaur, which means it came from an egg. Still, what came first, the dinosaurs or the eggs? What came first, the dinosaur or the chicken? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dinosaurs. <laughs> Is anyone surprised that I got diagnosed with ADHD? (laughs) How many minutes has it been? Almost half an hour. Cool. (laughs) Amazing. Remember when we mentioned being embarrassed? We're not anymore. I was going to say that's what this episode's about, but apparently we're not anymore. (laughs) No, No, I could come up with something. No, um, don't worry because there's an insane amount and we're going to share them with you. Should we do like we did last time and make an extra episode if we have too many? Uh, we can. I feel like that would be yeah. not a bad. Yeah. We'll do a, I almost said a bonus doopsies. Just because I really liked accent doopsies <laughs> to whoever commented that on our TikTok. Yeah. Primo. I think I said it. You oh, did. but I said it because you read someone. It. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I steal most of my ideas from people <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> um, what's that? Intellectual property is important. So. Yeah. I'm going to give credit where credit is due. TikTok user 1742, <laughs> whoever you are. <laughs> I don't remember your name. I'm so sorry. We'll have to scroll through it back and see. Uh, Okay. So the whole reason that this topic came about is because I saw something, um, a post on our Fangents page. And this person said that they get anxious when they come up to a gas pump and it's like the wrong side. Which, by the way, just so everybody knows, if you look down at your... there's the fuel thing. Yeah. There's a picture of a gas pump. It There's tells an you which arrow side. arrow on either side. That's what side your gas pump I is don't on. care how many times I've gotten gas. I will not remember which <laughs> fucking side it's on. If you if you put a gun to my head right now and ask me which oh, side it's on, I don't know. Me neither. But luckily, like, I, right. I stare at the air. Well, I don't know what the left. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's... <laughs> Damn. That's really hard. Yeah. Especially, I have to do that thing where I'm like, is it your left or my left to the that's gas thing? so hard. Um, but that's why I look at the arrow every time. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is it the gas can is left or oh. is it my left? <laughs> that's tough. That's tough. I just do, I put my arm out and whichever <laughs> way it's going, I'm like, it's probably, I'll yeah. open this door. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So I may not get embarrassed if I go to the wrong side. But if I get out of my car and I haven't hit the little thing that pops it open, <laughs> I'm like, fuck, I'm so stupid. And then I have to walk back in. Yeah. Or sometimes I like to pretend that like it's one of those ones you can push and it pops open. <laughs> and then I just like hit it a few times. I'll tell you right now, if I pull up to a gas station and I get out and it says like my car doesn't work and it's like see cashier, yep. I'll drive away. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that was what one person said. I'll just go Me to the, too. I was like, I will, I, I'm so embarrassed yes. for no reason. So this person posted this in the Fangens page and there were so many people underneath it being like, yes, me too. All of these things mm-hmm. could, like elaborating on it. And I'm like, I think there's something here. Yes. I think there is something to this. And then I was listening to Rachel and Jess's podcast for better and worse. Um, and they started talking about 
how they they called it um and things that are embarrassing for no reason and yeah. one of the examples was a, an example that someone gave today was walking back from bowling oh my god <laughs> I don't know. I'm always Bowling like, in general is terribly embarrassing to me. I always, well, walking up, I feel like, do I, sh- I, I like don't know Everyone's how to do it. Everyone's watching you. I hate that. Yeah. And then when I walk back, I'm like, <laughs> I have to do a little thing. Finger because, gun everyone. Yes. And then I'm overly conscious about how I'm walking. So I'm like, you're swinging too, your arms too hard. Now you're too stiff. You know. You know when I'm overly aware of my body is when I'm actually in the act of That's bowling. That's what I'm saying. Because you know how people, they hold it up. They hold it up close to their I chest. Won't. And then they swing the arm back. And then as soon as soon as I start to drop it to swing my arm back, I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's your release going to look like? <laughs> and I'm so fucking scared that I'm going to, like, throw it behind me or yeah. just, like, biff it immediately into the gutter <laughs> like it's terrifying so jerry knows about me that i was just the most self-conscious um mm-hmm. high schooler in the world so like high school and then right out of high school when i used to go bowling this is so embarrassing did you go bowling frequently um a couple times like with friends yeah. and boyfriends or whatever fun fact our family huge bowling family loves bowling like was not it? not as no. like recreational like, like my dad was fucking bowling. good. He was on bowling leagues. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And we used to go all the time with him and I yeah. would play and it would be fine. But then I would go when I was older and I was like, oh, I fucking suck. Yep. So I would be embarrassed about that. And I would <laughs> take the ball, <laughs> literally go up as fast as I could, <laughs> fucking chuck it and then turn around, not even look. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't watch what happened. And I'd sit down in my seat and be like, what happened? <laughs> uh, I would be like Every the time. performer. I'd be like, now's the time to just like throw a little flickerooski between your legs. I do that now because uh-huh. I uh, because I have better self esteem. Yeah. But before I was just like, this could not be more embarrassed. Even when I was just with my family, I'm yeah. like, who the fuck cares? Well, it's intense in our family because everyone's so fucking good. And my dad's like, another gutter, Sierra. Mm-hmm. Great. Wish you were a boy again. <laughs> Okay, I do want to talk a little bit about embarrassment in general before we get in because I haven't shown you yet. Let me show you this. <gasps> oh my god. Is that not insane? Wow. There's probably close to a thousand responses. Wow. Yeah. Because I feel like embarrassment is something that we all understand. It is. And it's 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 uh it's funny because remember those sheets of paper that you get like if you take your child to the pediatrician it's like this is yes. what your child will be milestones. Yes. I remember seeing at like two or three maybe maybe four mm-hmm. but it was like your child will start to get embarrassed. Yeah. And like I hadn't realized that he had no embarrassment. He had no shame. Right. He didn't get embarrassed. And then I was noticing him getting embarrassed by things. And I was like, how is that something that's like a milestone trait? That's like a, but I think it's a part of your it's brain. It's a developmental thing because kids at a certain point are egocentric. They're yes. all, they only think about themselves, how the world affects them, um, what they want, what's important to them. And then as they develop, it shifts where they basically become aware of, of like, other oh, people. like, oh, fuck, people in the world are watching me. Yes. Because I remember. Or when, also have feelings. Yeah. I remember when Noah started getting embarrassed. And it was kind of cute. But it was yeah. also, like, the saddest thing in the world. Yeah. I was like, I don't want you to be embarrassed. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I wish I could. But it's a natural human emotion. Well, I'll tell you why. So um, this is from the incredibly <laughs> useful resource Bustle. (laughs) Bustle. It's it's, it's an article from Bustle by uh, J.R. Thorpe, okay, from 2017. So, embarrassment, as a definition, is a social, moral, and self-conscious emotion and has been characterized as a complex interaction between the eliciting situation, one's personality, and the real or imagined presence of another. So, it's like... What you think's happening mm-hmm. and what's actually happening. Like, yeah. you create this scenario yeah. that results in you feeling embarrassed. embarrassed. Because sometimes there's, like, legitimate reasons people are teasing you to feel embarrassed. But other times, a lot of times, it's like, nobody cares. Yeah. Well, Why are you embarrassed? Yeah, it says, what embarrasses us, in other words, is a highly complex matter. It depends on our own perceptions of what counts as faux pas. But it's always about others, even if they're not there to see us fall down the stairs or sing poorly in the bathroom. Here. My boyfriend just told me I'm sorry. Speaking of falling down the stairs, he's he just got a new job, so he's been at this um, surgery center for a while. But he was doing like 
post. Sorry, I just thought about falling down the stairs. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I have so many <laughs> falling down. The- but so he was doing like post surgery um, patient care. Well, now he's in surgery. He's like a surgical nurse. And uh, he said the other day he was going because they have to sit behind the anesthesia, like in the, and yeah. they basically take notes the whole time. They don't really have to get involved yeah. in it, but they have to like record everything that happens yeah. in the. And so he went to sit down and his chair fell out. It was a slimy chair. <laughs> so like, his friend, his friend has got him the job. So he's in the surgery. <laughs> Sorry, I was holding tequila in my no, mouth for okay. a long time. <laughs> And he said it first of all, his friend was like, You just stared at me in the eyes. You knew you were going down. And Corey said, and it was worse because it was a surgery that was a local, so like local anesthesia. Oh, so the patient so the person was, was and she was a sixteen year old girl. Oh no. <laughs> and he was like, She roasted me the whole surgery <laughs> for falling out of my chair. Which I think is really oh. funny. So he reinforced like, the embarrassment that he felt. Hey, um, all of the surgeons call him Grace now. Oh, <laughs> Okay. Please don't call my boyfriend Grace. <laughs> when I fall, like the Beyonce. other day, there you go. There you go. Yes. When I I was wearing these pants on Mother's Day. Okay. They look very slippery. They're so comfortable, but they're very. They're made out of like knit material. Mm-hmm. So like, <laughs> the longer I wear them, the longer they get. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They just like stretch out for sure. I know exactly what you mean. So. I had been wearing them all day and I was really just taking it easy on Mother's Day. <laughs> and, and I just, for some reason, decided to walk downstairs down here. <laughs> like, who goes on stairs on Mother's Day? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. You I'm not s- doing any stairs today. <laughs> you said it like, and then I, I guess I'll take the stairs for Mother's Day. <laughs> like a fucking peasant. <laughs> like I a felt. father. <laughs> That's how I felt. So anyway, I really got what was coming to me because I got to the bottom of the steps and we have this like woodish floor <laughs> and and they were so long they got under my foot and I slipped and I landed right on a, a big Lego. Oh. I had two bruises like right where the Lego things are and no one saw me fall, but I knew that they heard me. <laughs> and so in my head, I was like, act like you're dead. <laughs> Just That's act. the least embarrassing thing. <laughs> if you just die, <laughs> then they'll know that this sound was worth it. Because if it was nothing, then you're stupid. <laughs> and how dare you make a loud noise for a fucking bruise? You better be dead. <laughs> this is what you get for taking the stairs. <laughs> that sounds like some childhood shit. What you just said. <laughs> I better not hear you unless you're dying. <laughs> That really was. Wow, damn. Woo. Okay, so back to the, some shit about embarrassment. Sure. Which is wild, guys, because here's the thing. I don't like reading. <laughs> so I always go to YouTube for my research. Yeah. And I try and find, like, credible sources on YouTube, which credible in quotations, obviously. Yeah. But just to, like, learn about things. There's not a whole lot about embarrassment it's on YouTube. Yeah, very interesting that people wouldn't want to talk about that because, again, it's such a universal Well, they'll feeling. talk about embarrassing things, but I wanted to understand, like, Sorry. the the like psychology behind it. Speaking of embarrassing, I, we will talk about. Yeah. I would love that. But um, my son, so when we go to therapy for him, he has to do, like, little activities. And so this time he's got a heart mm-hmm. and then he can pick five emotions. He color codes the emotions, so he'll write them in the... <laughs> Sorry, drink up, sweetheart. <laughs> All of you guys who talk about how you stare at either the macrame boobs or this woman, I imagine you guys to be her. <laughs> You're just, just in between us on That's, the couch. I think why I stare this way and not at you guys, because I'm mean, just like, here you go, drink up, sis. <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry, go ahead. Um, heart. So he has to pick different emotions every time. Then he colors the hearts according to what his emotions are for that day. So like okay. happy takes up half the heart and then, you know, and Got then it. we talk about what were things. So one of the things was embarrassment. And um, they were like, what's something embarrassing that you did? <laughs> and I forgot that he did this, but it was really funny. I, and it was something that I didn't realize that he thought was embarrassing. But when he left his appointment the week before, he accidentally said, bye, I love you. to. His <laughs> <laughs> Because he says it so often to so many people. Yeah. And when he said when the next appointment, he was like, I thought about it the entire ride home. <laughs> then he 
told her he loved her. And she was like, if it makes you feel better, a lot of my kids say I love you. And he was like, well, I don't love you. <laughs> I just accidentally said it. And she's like, you don't have to love me. I'm just saying. I feel okay. better now that you know that I don't. <laughs> okay. So. And I was just like, I was so excited for that answer. Because I'm like, what's something that would embarrass you? Because he's, yeah. again, getting to the age where he doesn't really get embarrassed too yeah. much. Um, well, I'll tell you, being embarrassed I, is important. Impo- impo- it's impo- important. It's important. <laughs> well, he's embarrassed of us. Like he said, um, 98% of the things his Nana does is <laughs> Sorry, oh, Nana. Nana. <laughs> to be fair, he's also said that like 90% of the things that I do is I feel I like that's a compliment coming from a kid. Yeah. Yeah. They'll because, get over that. Because you only do cool shit. I was embarrassed of my dad. And now I'm like, my dad's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Everyone would, thinks your dad's cool. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Embarrassment is actually highly valuable. I that's the feeling and showing. Oh my god! And that feeling well, and showing it can be socially you, important. It means you're not a sociopath. Well, like that's what it's saying. Yeah, it's socially important. If you feel, uh, it, but here's the thing: if you feel it too often and you uh, find it like disabling, yeah, um, that's not necessarily <clears throat> embarrassment. Um, especially if what you're being embarrassed about is not inherently bad or socially taboo, it's most likely that you have social anxiety, which yeah. I feel like most of our audience would be like, that makes sense. <laughs> That's why I'm embarrassed about <laughs> using an umbrella around yeah. people. That, you're not the only one. Oh, really? Yay! Okay, to be fair, the one person said that they are embarrassed about carrying an umbrella if it's not raining. Yeah. Where you said... I'm embarrassed about just using one. <laughs> Which Shane, Shane said he agrees. Up. Yeah, really. But just carrying an umbrella, even is in a <laughs> downpour, is embarrassing. I agree. I don't, I don't know why. Should I just man up and fucking take the rain? I to don't the face? know. He says yes. Yeah, I know. He's like, I would much rather just be completely drenched than yes. use an umbrella. I'll put my hood up so my hair doesn't get wet. But like, if I use an umbrella, I'd rather die. Yeah. <laughs> I've never even owned an umbrella for that reason. I don't understand. But they say a deep fear of the perception of others um, and how they can harm you is an example of how it's more like social anxiety and not embarrassment Mm -hmm. um embarrassment on its own isn't a massive problem so don't fear it understand it this like reading all of this made so much sense and it made embarrassment like just like understanding that i have a panic disorder or that i have adhd understanding why my brain works the way that it does i'm gonna here's a tangent ish um so i i taught high school special ed And when I was doing my observation, there was a student who was very, very clearly on the autism spectrum. Mm -hmm. Like, so, like, I did not need to know anything about his history in school. I just had to have one conversation with him. And I was like, for sure, you're on the spectrum. Yeah. And he was. He had an IEP, but he didn't know it. And it was... I asked the teacher, I'm like, why, why doesn't he know? Cause she made, she made sure to tell me like, do not discuss oh. anything, which, what would I have said? Be like, so heard you have autism. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Let's I talk know. about your autism. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what, how she thought that was going to come up in conversation, <laughs> but she was like, just be very sensitive because his mom doesn't want him to know that he has it. Oh, that's terrible. And it was because he came up to me and, and was like, people think I'm really weird. Is it? Am I weird? Oh, that breaks my heart. And if if he would have known, if I could have said, no, buddy, you're not weird. You're and d- I did, I did say different. this in a different way, but it's harder when there's not a name for it. Yes. And so, like, when I can tell Shane, hey, I have ADHD, and that's why when I go to change the laundry, I end up editing the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and don't tell you, because in my mind, I've been gone five minutes. Yeah. And in reality, it's been an hour. Yes. So my bad. Yeah. But that's why I think it's cool to understand like, oh, OK, if if you go to the wrong side of the gas pump and you're feeling embarrassed, it's more yeah. likely that you have social anxiety. Yeah. Then you're experiencing embarrassment. Yeah. Now, if you're like the people who are saying they get embarrassed by farting in a public restroom. <laughs> <laughs> that is embarrassing. <laughs> that you're probably experiencing embarrassment because there are societal norms, so to speak, that if you like break them and you experience embarrassment, like that's that's a more normal oh thing. Oh my God. When I'm talking, a little bit of something comes out of my mouth or something. Um, oh, I could die on the spot. I, what bothers me is when people are speaking and then they get that little frog in their throat and then they continue to speak. And I'm like, why are you Clear not embarrassed? It. Clear it. 
I'm going to need you to take a pause. Fix your fucking throat before you start speaking to me. And don't act like it was normal. How are you going to just try and like pretend like we don't both hear it? I will do it. I've done it so often to like my mom and my sister that now I'll accidentally do it to strangers. And I'm just like, hey, clear it. (laughs) We're all going to take a break? Yeah. Okay. Because you need to clear what's happening in your throat right now. Yeah. Ooh, or I used to be so embarrassed. My friends would pick on me and they would be like, they would tell me like, you got something in your teeth. Because I would literally freak out and be like, whatever. And they would be like, watch this. It's so funny. But like that to me, having something um, in my hair, in my teeth, like just a normal lipstick on your fucking teeth like that happens. To me, I think that that's probably more like so related true. to hygiene. Yeah. So like being clean is important. Yeah. And so like something being in your teeth could be embarrassing because it's like you're not clean. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. But I brush my teeth, bitch. I just also get shit. <laughs> but I'm embarrassed to tell someone that they have something in their teeth. Me too, because I don't want them to feel what I feel. Well, oh my gosh, so cool. Okay. <laughs> So the key element to understanding embarrassment as a human emotion, according to experts, is the fact that we're deeply social species that hang around in groups and that those groups have been necessary to our survival over the millennia. When people don't feel embarrassed about things and then I know it's embarrassing and I get secondhand embarrassment. Oh, it's a thing. OK, God, they call embarrassment a pro-social behavior. <gasps> One that accompanies some kind of break of social uh, social mores. So right. farting in public, calling somebody a stupid name, stealing their lunch. And it signals that you're sorry and won't do it again. If we were loners, we likely wouldn't have developed facial and bodily signals that we regretted. Meaning like your cheeks getting flushed. Yep. Um, and we I have to, if I'm embarrassed for somebody, I will not make eye contact with them. I'll well, okay. Like- so there's a part about that. It says... So mutual embarrassment Mm -hmm. is what you're talking about. It feeds on itself. As the first embarrassed person gets more uncomfortable, noting that others are now embarrassed too, it makes everybody a community of equals again. So it I have such a hard time watching people speak in front of people when I know they're nervous. Even if I'm like, good for you, I'm so proud of you, it's not actually an embarrassing thing. Like you're doing something brave. I know how I feel. Yeah. Speaking in front of people. So when I see people and I can tell they're nervous, if they're shaking a little or if they have like a, yeah. a tremor in their voice, I will instantly be like, I have to fucking leave because I'm getting but like, now stage you fright. level it out. So now like their level of embarrassment is equal <gasps> because now you are feeling that same level. And so instead of it being like uneven, I'm judging them. Yeah. We're, you bo- are now, we're all embarrassed. It, re- it regulates itself. That's it regulates cool. the group. Right. So that's why they're saying, um, like, if you were a loner, you wouldn't do that. And that's like, uh, it says a lack of embarrassment is, isn't is actually a desirable aim in social situations. To act completely without shame means that you're either not aware of social rules that bind the group together or you don't care about them. When my son was young, because I didn't know about this egocentric thing. I didn't really know a lot yeah. about toddlers. So I was just like, toddlers are big babies. Yeah. <laughs> like, so I didn't know about their brains. Mm-hmm. And I remember telling his dad, I was like, hey, I think our son is a sociopath. <laughs> He's not yeah. showing normal human emotions. I didn't realize that like it was taking his yeah. brain a while. But I was like, he, well, well he was also drawing people dying a while. <laughs> He was like, I love red because it's the color of blood. And I was like, mm-hmm, good. I had a student like that one time and he got expelled. Well, he got he grew out of it. I don't know why he was so obsessed with yeah. like red and yeah. not violence so much as just like blood. I don't know. It's maybe he'll Boys be a surgeon. Weird. Yeah. yeah. That's what I always said. Because he wasn't violent. He was yeah. just like fascinated by death. <laughs> and I was like, hey. I think he's a sociopath. <laughs> so when he started showing embarrassment or getting secondhand embarrassment, I was like, oh, emotion. <laughs> yes. Finally. Oh, it was. And like when I saw him express empathy, like when I would get sad and he would tear up because I was sad, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> All he always goes, Mommy Kayan. Mommy Kayan. <laughs> That's what Noah doesn't say like that anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but he used to. Yeah. This is something I think is important for everyone who gets frequently embarrassed to know. And it says, there's an intriguing tie psychological experiments show between people who are more liable to show embarrassment and those who are more likely to display other pro-social behaviors like kindness and generosity. So you getting embarrassed frequently just means that you care about 
people. Yeah, a, a little bit of empathy. Yeah, that means good. you're just aware of societal norms and the betterment of the group. If you are someone who just like doesn't give a flying fuck, yeah, and, and like I don't want to say don't give a flying fuck as in like you. Um, aren't allowed to not be embarrassed by things like that's totally normal. But yeah. if you never care at all what anyone thinks about anything that you do ever, yeah, um, that might be a little bit of a problem. Well, I was saying there's a giant red flag, and there's someone specifically that I know that does this. So if you're like a neurotypical person and you don't pick up on social cues, yeah. like if you're talking to someone and you can't pick up that they don't give a fuck what you're talking to yeah. them, and you keep talking about it, like. Because it, it's about you or whatever. Yeah, it's I have somebody, fulfilling some need you have. I have somebody who does this constantly. Will talk about himself mm-hmm. or his whatever, and does not pick up that like everybody else in the room can see that that Check person does out. not want. You know, because you can yeah. tell when someone wants to talk to you, and when they don't, they're just like, uh-huh. mm. yeah. But and normally, he's someone who's like insecure and is not going to tell you hey, or like, change the care. subject. Yeah. yeah, but like. I always tell people, I'm like, that is a giant red flag. Mm-hmm. If that person is not picking up on that, it mean, they have some kind of like narcissism yeah. or something. That's me couch diagnosing, but. <laughs> well, it depends. I did read that from somewhere. It depends somewhere. because people on the autism spectrum also might well, not that's be why able I to said pick up on social yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's the other thing that I don't want that to be. And, and Noah does it sometimes yeah. too. ADHD is very similar to yeah. aut- autism in certain. Yeah. Well, um, You've talked about how Noah can hyperfixate on something. Oh my God, he does. And that's very common in the autism community as well. It's just being. That's why we thought he had autism. Yeah. We actually, he started going to therapy because they thought he was autistic. Yeah. He also had a really hard time, again, looking people in the eyes like he was having a problem with yeah. that. Um, and, but I think that's just because that's something I do when we like are getting <laughs> like, uh, I'm embarrassed. I can't yeah. make eye contact with people. I have a hard time making eye contact. And like sometimes I'll if, watch like back. Like we just brought it up. Now I'm going to be like embarrassed. I know. <laughs> well, it, one of the, one of the things someone said was uh, making eye contact made mm-hmm. them embarrassed. But I will find myself like when I watch the podcast back, cause I have to put all the videos together yeah. and then I, I watch it again through to make sure I didn't miss anything. Cause sometimes I check out yep. <laughs> because I have ADHD <laughs> and I will realize that sometimes when I'm talking or when I'm doing like TikToks and stuff, I find myself just like looking <laughs> over here, like <laughs> to Ollie's toys and yeah. nowhere near the camera or, or you, or the computer. Like, it's just uh, my eyes, or I stare at the steps. I stare at the steps a lot. Yeah. Because making eye contact with a person (laughs) is weird to me. (laughs) So now we're going to get into what you guys sent in. We, I wanted to just talk about, like, what embarrassment was, because a lot of times when you find it online, it talks about, like, embarrassment and shame together. Yeah. And I just... I don't I think like, it has to be shameful. Well, I like the idea that embarrassment was created, that our our bodies biologically changed React to like to flush to let other people know like, hey, I recognize that either I made you uncomfortable or like something I did was off and I'm not going to do that again yeah. because I get that like that's not good for the group. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So I just think that that's cool. That's very and, cool. And because sometimes when I get embarrassed, it like, Sends me into a panic attack. Same. I'll feel like heat throughout my whole body. Yeah. I'm like, ah, fuck. So if I can say to myself, like, that's science again. Yeah. In my body. Yep. <laughs> Just being science. <laughs> then I can good. maybe shut it off. Yeah. I don't know. Hey. <laughs> Talk myself out of it. If we learn it, maybe we can fix it, right? Yeah. You know? That's what I say. How do my toilet? <laughs> okay. Well, that's not about toilet. So but. I'm going to start by telling you the thing that made me very embarrassed okay. when I went to Massachusetts. Okay. So I kind of said to you guys last week, remember when I make stuff a joke after I've processed it? I've processed it. So <laughs> I flew to Massachusetts. I left at three in the morning, got there at like, it was either 1255 or 155. I cannot be bothered by time. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't relative, remember. Not real. Yeah, I don't remember which one it was. But either way, that's a long time. At that point, I had been on two flights, and I immediately had to get into my rental car to drive to New Hampshire because I flew to the wrong place, which was <laughs> embarrassing in itself. Okay. Yes. And um, someone mentioned in here that getting on a flight is embarrassing, uh, like walking yeah. past everyone. Yep. Just everything about being in an airplane is embarrassing because like your bag knocks into people. Yep. You can't stand up straight because the overhead compartments are too short. You're in a very small tube with a lot of people you don't know. <laughs> it's I hate all it. 
bad. It's yes. all terrible. Anyway. I think that's also why I get anxiety, not even just from flying, but like the social anxiety yes. mixed with flying anxiety. I'm just like, this is a fucking nightmare. Oh my God. You're like Mentos <laughs> in a can of Coke. Yes. So I don't know where I'm going because I'm supposed to go pick up this rental car and I'm like, I have no idea. I'm on this um, bus trying to get to the rental car place and then I'm sitting across from these three bikers who just keep trying to talk to me and I'm trying to pick up my bag because I think I'm getting off at my stop and it's so very heavy yep. and this biker tries to assist me getting my backpack on which <laughs> was a terribly embarrassing and he's like will you go into your bricks and I'm like <laughs> <laughs> what if you were like go yeah. ride your hog <laughs> leave me alone so I go to car. get my car Seamless process, no issues, which normally it's terrible to get a rental car. Yeah. So he gives me my information, okay, prints out the little contract, folds it up in the nice little thing, <laughs> writes, did I tell you this story? No. Amazing. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> folds it up into this little thing and writes C25. He's like, no, 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 I'm sorry. E25. <laughs> Doesn't fucking matter. You wouldn't have known. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he writes E25, okay? Yes. And he says, the keys are already in it. I upgraded you. It is a silver. I didn't hear the rest. I only care about colors. <laughs> okay? Same. I have ADHD. <laughs> when people are like, what car do you drive? I was like, eh, it's black. White? <laughs> yeah. like, I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> so he says E25. It says, it's written on the front, E25. And I'm like, tight. So I go there. I go to space, E25. And... It's, it's silver. Oh. No, it's there. It's okay. silver. Keys are in it. I get in it. Drive up to leave, and there's someone who has to, like, check you out. They have to scan the thing. And he looks at the car, scans it, and he's like, yeah, I better see that contract. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I hand him the thing, and he's like, you're in the wrong car. And I'm like, well, I'm an E25, Buster. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I go, I'm an E20. This was what was an E25. And he goes, yeah, um... Turns out you weren't supposed to go to E25. And I'm like, well, isn't that what it says on the front? And he's like, yeah, but if you turn inside here and look at the contract on the tiny four and a half point font that was printed <laughs> out on a 19th century typewriter, <laughs> it says that you were supposed to go to E2. <laughs> and he opens well, two it. Two and a five are very close to the oh. But it said the guy wrote E25. He oh. wrote it, hand wrote it on the front, okay? I didn't know that the contract had the actual spot in it. How the fuck was I supposed to know that? And then he, like, opens it and points at it. Like, I knew where to double check the fucking number. I'm not ch reading the fucking contract. So then... On my way out to okay, the Okay, so now I'm embarrassed because he says I'm in the wrong car. And I'm like, but I was following directions. <laughs> and then he, I looked at, I looked at him and I go, so... Should what I now? put the car back? And he goes, I think you better. <laughs> I'm like, what? Like okay. you were trying to steal it. <laughs> yes. So then, then, this is a one way. It's a one way. So forward, there's a gate. Behind me is just parking lot. <laughs> and so he goes, you're going to need to back up. So I have to drive backwards I hate that. down this one way hoping that no one else is trying to get out of here in their rental car <laughs> anyway i put it back walk my happy ass to e2 get it drive back and was he, it also silver yes okay it was a very different model <laughs> but um like i was in an suv the first time and then i got in a sedan <laughs> very different cars but like I said, I, I stopped wasn't listening. listening. You told me <laughs> you five silver. That's where I was going. Yes. So I drive up and he goes, I have a feeling I'm going to scan this. <laughs> this is going to be the right one. And I'm like, well, fucking cool. <laughs> He's going to say the wrong one again. I was like, what is he fucking? <laughs> so he scans it. And I'm like, great, right one. And he's like, there we go. <sighs> and then he goes, you see what happened was I think you got confused. You got confused because he wrote it on the outside, but in here on the contract, it had a different number. So you must have been confused. And I was like, <laughs> I'm a, I like w in Boston, literally channeled Mark Wahlberg and almost fucking wrecked this guy. I was so <laughs> was angry. Say, wrecked this car. <laughs> you wrecked. drive right to the gate. Here's yeah. this. Now I get to eat nothing, bitch. I'm going home. <laughs> I was so. I got confused. I didn't get confused. I didn't 
write the, the number on here. person who worked here fucking told me <laughs> this spot. So that's where the fuck I went. Oh, that's why little things like going to the like the DMV or a, like... Fucking mansplain <laughs> parking <laughs> garages to me. <laughs> You must have got confused. Oh, I got confused because someone directed me did to my, a place. Did oh, my yeah. little lady brain get confused by the number you told me was the right one? <laughs> yeah. You fucking twat. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I That's why I can't stand places that I've never been or that I don't go to a lot because I'm afraid I'm going to do something wrong. Like The whole thing was wrong. Yeah. Everything was wrong. And that they're going to treat me like that. Like, I'm a fucking dumbass. Yeah. And I'm like, well, well. Where are the directions, bitch? <laughs> yes. You didn't say to read you the contract. You must have got confused because I wrote it so. <laughs> You're right. I do get confused when people tell me to do one thing and then chastise <laughs> me for being wrong, <laughs> for following their correct directions. You piece of shit. <laughs> anyway, so guy at the parking garage in Boston. If you're listening, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Get fucked forever. Get fucked. You're so mean. <laughs> There's no reason for Dude, it. You should have let me steal the other car. Okay. <laughs> God. She stop it. Got me in trouble. <laughs> yeah. Not you bitch. Damn. Why are you gonna be so mean to me? Let me steal a car. Which was a nicer car? The first yeah. one. Oh yeah, it was a nicer car. It was an SUV. <laughs> I sat up so much higher. He was like, I'm going to need you to knock down a peg. Go get in that sedan. <laughs> Ma'am, you're far too high up. Yeah. This one. Oh, you thought you deserved a push to start? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Go get in the other one. Anyway. Um, so now I'm going to read some of the responses after an hour. <laughs> um, I'm going to read some of the responses. Whoopsie. We'll do another episode. Yeah. So if you want it, you can pay $5. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll yeah. give you your money back. Or yeah. <laughs> Don't say that. Oh, just kidding. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> she lied, remember? I, I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So... We're just going to like probably go like 15 minutes reading some of these to you guys and then we'll see how we feel. Yeah. Um, anyway, so when a car lets me cross a crosswalk, why do I have a walk run? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why do I feel like I have to fucking sprint? Yes. I'm like, I'm so, so sorry I'm inconvenient <laughs> you by using the correct walk run. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even though you told me to go. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> I have to go very fast. <laughs> also, I'm happy to read these because... I think something that's embarrassing is thinking that I'm the only one who experiences it or that someone else is judging me, but thinking that someone else also might be embarrassed by the thing that makes me embarrassed will make me feel less embarrassed. And I will also say as somebody who's been the person in the car letting someone go, I don't go I don't give a fuck how mm-hmm. far fast you you could go literally you could crawl across. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting anyways. <laughs> I will get my phone out, but yeah. go ahead. Changing a pad or a tampon in a public stall. Oh, that crinkle. The crinkle of the paper. Oh, the peeling. The peeling. <laughs> That's why I always flush. I either flush or I'm like. <laughs> I just won't do it. I will risk toxic <laughs> shock syndrome. <laughs> Until I am alone in this bathroom. I- Listen, that was pads? worse in high school because I didn't want people to know I was on my period. So I would just yeah. be like, God forbid anyone know I'm menstruated <laughs> with all the other women who are also yeah. menstruating. Listen, I don't want to wear a pad, period, because Mm-mm. some of the ones I've worn, you'll hear it when I'm you walking will. like a pair of wind pants. <laughs> yeah. When you sit down, oh, has yeah. it ever got stuck? And then when oh you go God. to get up, it's like, <laughs> you ever have to peel a pad out of your ass crack? Yeah, all the time. <laughs> it just gets stuck and you gotta like. <laughs> Off your butt. I told Corey, well, because <laughs> when I was bleeding, I'm not allowed to wear tampons. So I was yeah. like, hey, we're going to have to get some pads. You're going to get ones that like mattresses. I'm getting one that goes from my belly yep. button to my ass crack. Yep. <laughs> All the way up, baby. Yeah. Protect. They got like four sets of wings. I can't wait. Uh, making eye contact with someone in public. We yes. address making eye contact, period, is just... Well, being a woman, that's also risky business because then a man decides... That, yeah, that they you, read into it. They're like, oh, we get to talk now. And I'm like, that's not what this <laughs> is about. I just nope. wanted to make sure you were also a person. <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes yep. were made. Um, when someone asks if you... <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't be reading these, especially with as much tequila as I put I in I like it. When someone asks if you know a restaurant or a band or anything and you don't... Well, I you normally do, but like I get so scared. I'm just like, uh, fuck it. Sure, I know uh, who that is. Red Sometimes, oh, you I mean know. if somebody asks if I know, 
I'll fucking lie. Oh, I, know. I was just going to call you out. I know sometimes I'll say something and you'd be like, oh, I fucking love, love that. that. And, and I'm like, talk you about don't it. know. And then I'm like, I actually, why do this I love this? Because lying. Because I'm embarrassed and I don't know. Because <laughs> you want to be cool. Yeah. And well, and I don't want the conversation to stop. Because like, mm. th- where does the conversation go from there? Hey, you ever heard of whatever? And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> conversation and, over but i know really that don't. i will create a conversation from nothing i know but i really don't want it i did that one time when i i do it a lot when i'm drunk because i think like what could go wrong here <laughs> and i want those people to have like camaraderie with me yeah so i remember one time specifically somebody was like oh d- do you listen to whatever and i was like i fucking love them <laughs> was it my chemical romance i know but i do love my chemical romance. do you I mean, I'm not like a hardcore Name fan. Name one song. Helena. That's my favorite one. Fuck. Okay. Good job. <laughs> yeah. That was a popular one. I named my cat after that song. You did? I did. Oh. Yeah. Fair enough. Wow. Egg on my face. Thank you. But Chicken I, on my face. Anyways, these people invited me to go to this concert and with them for our favorite artist. And I was Who like, was it? I can't even be bothered to remember <laughs> at this point. Oh, you mean the person? That did no, the it? artist. I fucking don't know. I can't even remember. But they invited me to go to the concert. I love that concert. you were much rather to out the person who invited you. <laughs> oh, that you I can tell to. you that. Yeah. No, it was one of Corey's friends. That's why I was trying to be cool because I was like, I want them to like me. See, that's what I said. You I want like, people to you like You want to fit in, yeah. I'm like, yeah, I want to like the same things. I want you to think that we have things in common. I want to gaslight you and <laughs> think it weird. <laughs> that we're Gonna on the same friends. page. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out, no, because then I had to deny going to this concert because I was like, they're going to play these songs and realize <laughs> I fucking know a single yeah. word. Yeah. Um, I didn't realize I was embarrassed by this thing until I read it and... Th- like sat with it a minute um and shane said he's also embarrassed by this and it's being hungry when no one else is yeah that's my life recently because yeah. i'm hungry all the time but i don't want to say it I'm see like, i would not be embarrassed if i was pregnant and hungry because then i'm like i'm fucking pregnant like what do you yeah. uh, what other state am i in other than hungry yeah but like i remember being at people's houses and being starving and being like i cannot let you know <laughs> that i'm hungry <laughs> I used to do that when I would spend the night places because I yeah. wouldn't eat a lot at home. <laughs> I remember <laughs> one the- time you brought up a sleepover that I brought Mo to once. It was the same sleepover that like a hamster died at. Oh, yes. So I spent a lot of that evening in the kitchen eating goldfish <laughs> like alone. <laughs> People were like freezing their bras in the in the freezer. That was like when I saw them. I was like eating at the counter I think with I her did mom. That. And you guys were like going and putting bras in the freezer and well, having fun weird. times. And I was eating an entire bag of goldfish like, to myself. I'm fucking starving. I was mourning the loss of that hamster that yeah. they were tossing back and forth and then dropped. I don't remember that happening. It hit the fan. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think this was a traumatic moment that I Probably. blocked out because I don't remember that. Yeah. Children shouldn't have pets like no. hamsters. People are like, hamsters are chi- like children's pets. No. no, they're not. I saw a TikTok once. Someone tagged me in it that was like, you got to tell the hamster story. Yes, because it was somebody, their hamster dying. Yes. And pets. it was like, we're not talking about these hamsters. And they showed like a cute little fuzzy hamster. They're like, we're talking about these hamsters. And it was like just aggressive teeth out, growling ass hamster. Yeah. Um, do you guys want to hear the hamster story? Yeah, tell it. Oh, so let's get sad. Is it really sad? It's not. I mean, it's sad. <laughs> I do think that. It's so I had a hamster when I was a kid and uh, the hamster like got out a lot and it would end up in just really random places. And it uh, one day I took a, a poop <laughs> as one does. <laughs> and I, I had to have been like six or yeah. seven. Okay. I was little. And I remember standing up to wipe because That's I do. Does. Okay. <laughs> because not only do I want to look at my poop before there's toilet paper on it. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I want to know what what I've done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I look between my legs. You, you do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always wondered how people who sit look to see their I work. I look between my legs. That's Sometimes weird. I'll lift a leg up. That's weird. <laughs> it's I really just, hard now because of my belly. I just stand all the way up and turn around. <laughs> 
Um, anyway, so I stood up, turned around, looked in the toilet, and my hamster was in the <laughs> toilet. I had shit on my hamster, no. and I didn't realize it. And it was just like, like treading water. <gasps> and I screamed, and my dad came in, and he flushed the hamster. It was still alive! It was still alive. It and he flushed it. What? <laughs> That's murder. <laughs> Is it? That's murder. I like to think that he lives in the sewers and trains <laughs> turtles how to do karate. <laughs> but it is murder. <laughs> but yeah, the, we don't know that he died. That's true. How many flish flish get flushed? <laughs> how many fish get flushed that are still alive? They're dead. <laughs> so, no, no my, I know for sure my sister flushed an alive fish. <laughs> No, but I'm saying they died then. Oh. So they, that's murder as well? That's murder. Oh, I'm just learning about murder. Are we sure that's not a whoopsie killing? <laughs> no, that's intentional homicide. <laughs> okay. Well, well, what's the statute of limitation on that? <laughs> I'll be contacting my lawyer. <laughs> it's been at least 23 years. <laughs> oh, Anyway. Oh, that poor hamster. So now I'm embarrassed. Um, <laughs> you shouldn't be your dad's the murderer. <laughs> Yours was an accident. You, he could have been saved. Your dad intentionally homicided his ass. <laughs> he was like, I've fucking had enough of this hamster. Okay, I'm just. I'm for sure not going D. to t- take my hand into shit to save its life. Carpe diem this 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 situation. You know what? He might be living with rats in the sewer. That's what I said. He's teaching turtles karate and eating pizza. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, cognitive dissonance is important. (laughs) (laughs) Um, getting winded while hiking. I'll hold my breath before I let someone hear me die. (laughs) (laughs) That's how I feel when I get winded walking up the stairs. Yeah, or like if I'm on a walk with somebody. And so we're supposed to be getting waited, and I'm just like, uh, uh, <laughs> I'm fucking in shape. I yeah. don't know about you. <laughs> trying to talk I'm to fine. them. And Corey's always like, "Hey, we can stop and take a breath." <laughs> I was like, "What are you talking about? I'm in fucking great shape." Yeah, don't you put that on me. If you need to stop and take a break, then fine. <laughs> that's on you, Buster. <laughs> Buster is my new favorite word. I really. Well, that, that's my grandpa's name. Oh. <gasps> Well, his name's Eugene. Oh, Eugene Buster. But they Buster. call him Buster. <laughs> he was named Eugene at birth, and then his grandma was like, no. Buster. <laughs> Buster. <laughs> True story. I love that. I know. Um, singing at a red light makes me so embarrassed. Not singing me. anywhere in a car, like, I will go all the way off, just like hand, hand gestures for days, and then I cross a car, and cross a car? I pass a car. <laughs> I pass a car and then all of a sudden I'm just still as fuck (laughs) and I'm just barely lipping the song because I want to act like I'm a normal car singer driver, car driver singer. Not me. Anyway. That's one thing I'm fucking, I'll be like, "Mm, mm, 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 mm." (laughs) and then I turn over and I'm like, (laughs) am I right? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Oh my God. I have a really embarrassing story. So I had a wedding in Pittsburgh. I guess I didn't need to tell you exactly where I was, but... So I had a wedding in Pittsburgh, which was like everything's almost, more embarrassing in Pittsburgh. <laughs> it was almost a two hour drive for me, okay? Yeah. So I left here, drove there. Sure. And by the time I was almost to the bride's parents' house, I had to pee. Normally what I'll do is I will fill up a cup with ice water <laughs> and I'll pee. Did you think I said I had a penis? No, I thought you were gonna say I'll fill up a cup with pee. I like, guess oh, you're oh, driving, and oh, I was no. like, "Been there." No, no. Shane did one time on the way to Warp Tour. He had to pee in a Gatorade <laughs> bottle, and we had a Fiat. It was very small, <laughs> <laughs> so like basically he was right behind my head peeing. <laughs> anyway, so I fill up a cup with ice water, yeah. and then I drink it on the way there. Because I always forget to hydrate while I'm working. Uh Anyway, by the end of the day, the ice is normally melted. And so then I have... New cup of water. (laughs) Yeah, new cup of water on the way home. Love that. So I had to pee so fucking bad. Mm -hmm. And this leads me to uh, another thing that's embarrassing. But I stop at a red light and I have to pee. And I don't know about you, but when I have to pee, I will hold myself. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I will put my hand on my crotch and just and press. It, I'll either press or I'll like sway side to side. Well, but sometimes that feels good. 
<laughs> and then I'm like, why am, why am I really doing this? Well, that's what was happening. And I look over at a red light. And this guy in a truck is staring at me. <laughs> and I know that he is high enough that he can see that I'm sitting and fucking bike riding my hand. <laughs> And I was like, no, I gotta be, guy. <laughs> Stop getting turned off. Your that. face is like. Oh, <laughs> uh, I was wincing. So he probably thought I had <laughs> reached the mountaintop. Yeah. <laughs> I had not. I just really had to pee. Have you ever peed and kind of almost had an orgasm, but you're in the <laughs> bathroom? <laughs> you're like, We've had this like, conversation uh. before. I've had a poop that was almost an orgasm. Oh, I always pee orgasm. <laughs> Yeah. If you hold it for too long and then it comes out and you're like, <laughs> you get a pee shiver, you're like, yeah. oh, wow, I can't believe it. But I, I can't it. hold my vocals in. <laughs> yeah. So, like, in a public bathroom, I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> for real? Yeah. yeah. That's if I'm like on the verge of pissing myself. Oh my God. If I'm in public and I have to pee, I become really interested on uh, in the floor. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> if I'm at Marshall's or if I'm at the grocery store, whatever is on the bottom shelf is my new favorite thing because I have to sit on my foot. <laughs> yeah. And because I can't hold side side. myself, I have to. I have to kneel onto my foot. I've done that on the heel. Yes, mm-hmm. or I'll like, I'll like take these really weird s- <laughs> steps, and Shane now calls me out, and it's embarrassing because I thought I was being incognito. <laughs> well, we know your pee dance now. I know it. <laughs> I know, but for some reason, I'm like, mm, I'm not ready to pee yet. <laughs> and he's like, just go, and I'm like, I. It's not the time. It's, well, My body will tell me when it's time. It's good for your bladder. I realized what I to do. To wait? Which is like forcing myself to pee mm. is bad for your bladder. It makes your bladder weaker because oh. you, your body sends signals of like, hey, your bladder's full. And if you confuse it by emptying it before it's full mm. all the time, which is what I do, then it'll start sending those signals. Oh, I wait until the very last minute until my brain <laughs> is like, I've sent it. you seven <laughs> signals. Can you please go? You're literally about to piss yourself in March. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Did I tell you speaking of things that are embarrassing, one time in Marshalls, I probably told this story on the podcast before, but whatever. I went and I had to shit so bad. <laughs> and so I went and I pooped. Yep. And then I looked down and I <laughs> I thought my mom was, was in there. In the and so I reached my hand under the stall and I went, <laughs> I went, I went, hi mama. <laughs> And then I was like, those aren't the shoes she wore. But like the person did have the same shoes as my mom. But th- <laughs> Mama. Hi, Mama. <laughs> and then I realized it wasn't her. And then I was like, well, now I have to I live in this stall now. I can't get out. Oh. Until she's gone. Oh, oh I just thought of something that's embarrassing for no reason. Okay. When I pull up to my house and my neighbor also does and they're outside, I'll just find something on my phone for half an hour and be like, no, we're not getting out at the same time. So no, we no. can't. I can't come. Yeah. Like my neighbor will walk his dog and like let it poop in the yard. Yeah. Because they don't have a fence. And if I pull up and they're pooping, I'm just like, look at that. <laughs> Who's there? They're both pooping? The dog. Got it. Gotta go Sorry. With it. I don't want to assume the dog's gender. Yeah. I don't know. Got it. No, fair enough. I was like, I, I, I thought plural. And yeah. so I thought both the owner and the dog were Well, taking sometimes they shit. have multiple dogs out there. That Got shoot at it. the same time. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. Okay. Saying bye and then walking the same direction. I'll change my whole path to avoid this happening. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Why is that so embarrassing? If you both, it is right, embarrassing. Talk to you later, that he turns to walk the same way as you, and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you always have to say something fucking weird, like, oh, go fancy, this way. <laughs> fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Fuck, oh, I hate that. So bad. <sighs> Wearing a backpack. Um, yeah, because everybody's like backpacks over purses, and remember, I've gotten rid of my purses, so everybody's like, fucking get a backpack, and I'm like, I fucking. Why wear a backpack? But why what? Why can't you? Why I don't, I don't know why it's embarrassing. But I think I'm gonna get over it because the on my registry what I put. Um, for Maybe that's a diaper why I'm not bag. embarrassed by it is because my diaper bag's up. Yeah, that's what I put. I put a backpack, and I'm like, I'm gonna get used to this fucking thing because mm. I'm done with purses. I'm wearing backpacks. Yeah, I think it's just because it's like a juvenile school thing. So like, Maybe. you're just wearing one. That makes sense. <clears throat> or like because it's normal. 
quote yeah. unquote for women to wear purses. Yeah. I fucking hate wearing a purse. Me too. Um, when I go to a drive through and say thank you every time the employee hands me anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can only say it so many times. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I do that a lot. Yeah. Probably because if you don't I say should. anything the first time they hand you something, you're a dick. Yeah. But if you say it seven times, it's like, I fucking get it. <laughs> yeah, like, Thanks. We you're, are nice. You, you're grateful. Got it. Sneezing in public. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't want I don't want to sneeze. I don't want to cough. I don't want to make any sound out of my body. I have in a public. really obnoxious sneeze. Same. Really obnoxious. It's so loud. So I think that's why I don't like sneezing in front of people. Yeah. Because I can't make it quieter. When I huh. sneeze, it's like, oh, God. Yep. <laughs> like, it's obnoxious. And I try and hold it in. And I've said before, like two times, I've tried to hold it in and I've went, <laughs> And then it's not even a sneeze. It's just a sound. And then I, <laughs> I'm unfulfilled and everyone's looking at me. Could have just sneezed. I know. Snosed. Um, when you're the odd one out in a group and have to walk either behind the group or on the street. Well, that happens to me all the time. I know. <laughs> I'm always the so, one that walks uh, behind. That makes me anxious. Yeah. I'm like, I'm why like, am I? I just, I, you know what? I'm going to go home. Because yeah. there doesn't seem to be enough <laughs> space for me here. <laughs> for all of us. I can't hear your conversation and I'm just back yeah. here alone. I hate that. Um, we'll do one more. Okay. Let me see. Handing back unwanted clothes in a dressing room. Oh, that's awful. Even whenever they come and they like that's their job. They're yeah. like, What can I take from you? And I'm like, I don't want to show I- you what my ass can't fit into. <laughs> I don't, it's not even that for me. It's more like I feel guilty that I, I, making ha- you do something. Yeah, that I don't like these clothes. Well, is it because we feel like bougie? Because I feel like that's like a rich person thing to be like, here, go get me a size, whatever. Oh, this. I'll never ask for another size. They've asked me before. They're like, would you like me to get this in another size? And I was like, I'd rather die. Yeah. <laughs> before I ask you to do <laughs> If your I job. didn't fit in this one, I don't, I, I don't get it. And then it's embarrassing because they'll watch me go out and get the book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's like, more so because I don't want to be an inconvenience. Me neither. I'm like, or I'm sorry. Or I feel guilty that I don't, like, even if it had it was not a sizing issue, it was just like, this is not flattering on yeah. me, or I don't like this style. Right. It's more now I feel bad. That, that I don't I, like your clothes. <laughs> yes. Like, they made them. Yeah. And care. <laughs> Which, as someone who worked retail and had to put clothing back, like, yeah. when I worked at Kohl's, that was my only job was to do the dressing rooms and do go backs, which is what they called them. Like very creative <laughs> name. Yeah. They just go back. <laughs> we had to think of something special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But my whole job was putting the go backs back. Oh and my God. I never gave a shit. I didn't care. If anything, I was like tight. Gives this is going to keep me busy do. for a long time. Yeah. And they won't have me do anything else. Cause otherwise I had to They'll just like get hide. busy work for you. Yeah. 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 That's so funny. Um, we have a butt ton more. I didn't realize. I don't know why I think that we're not going to just talk forever, <laughs> but um, we're going to probably do a, a mini episode uh, as our exclusive with some of the other ones because, like I said, there's legit like a thousand of these. So, anyway, if you want to hear, if you didn't hear yours and you want the chance to potentially hear it, we're going to talk about more of them on the exclusive. Um, but if you were like totally satisfied with what you heard, like also cool. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Hey, we're happy to have you. Yeah. And we will, uh, you know what's embarrassing? Ending this bullshit. Yep. Honestly, every fucking time. (laughs) Or thinking that we used to start this with asking each other about our pants. (laughs) I think about that at least once a week. (laughs) And that every time we get new listeners or people say that they're going back, I'm like, oh no, no, no. Don't fucking talk about the pants thing. (laughs) <laughs> You're going to hear us talk about pants because we're like, it's going to be catchy. It's going to be like our thing. We're going to talk about pants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, no. And now I just, I don't know. Anyway, Anyways. okay. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. We we appreciate you and shit. Okay. Um, that's that on embarrassment. Yeah. We'll see you next week. All right. We're out. Goodbye.